and Dr. Nora here now as a cosmetic practitioner. I often get invited to some very, very exclusive events. Today I've been invited to Venus Concepts new launch and I'll take you guys along with me for the ride. So guys, with me today, I've got the ultimate cosmetic dermatologist, that means a skin doctor. This guy has trained for many years, Dr. Davin Lim. Thank you so much for joining me today. No worries, thanks for the interview. Thank you. <laughs> we saw some pretty epic pictures. So basically what we're doing is ablating the skin. We're using uh, electrodes, positive and negative electrodes, resistance through the dermis, creates heat, and as a result, we get good results like this. Yeah, that's predictable. The whole challenge is to see whether we can get that patient on the left over there, to that outcome there with minimally invasive treatments, in other words, prevent scarring. And this is where this device comes in. These are all patients of mine that all had RF, right? And you can, as dermatologists, we know that if you see this kind of amount of inflammation on the left, in the one in the middle, to, to the one on the right. And we actually saw that somebody had rhinophyma. What is rhinophyma? So rhinophyma is end stage of rosacea. So not everyone will get it. But if you leave it long enough, especially in males, sooner or later, if you leave inflammation unchecked, you may get rhinophyma. So it's enlargement of the nose, that's rhino, and hence phyma. Amazing. Yeah. And we saw a pretty epic after picture that you actually kind of remolded the nose. How did you do that? Well, it's basically carving. So, but I use a laser, so it's called an ablative laser. And what we do is just pair it back. So what you want to do is have a photo of what the nose used to look like, Put it up next to your laser, and as I'm going, I'm reshaping that nose to where it was. Just posted this up on Instagram actually because I had three of my CO2 lasers down at the beginning of the year. So I think this is in January, in some fluke, all three were down. Uh, so I had to use uh, freehand wild oats from RF, and the results are pretty good as well. Amazing, this guy is like a magician <laughs> with his hands. This is like next level cool stuff. What is your favorite cosmetic treatment that you perform on your patients? Believe it or not, yeah. they're little fillers. Really? <laughs> they're, they're really. You know, you know <laughs> why? It. You know why? It's because, it's because you don't have downtime. Right. So I love double fillers. The reason being is you can be creative. Yeah. Right? With, um, with lasers, it's science. You, you can be a little bit creative, but you're limited by science. But with dermal fillers, it's basically art. Nice. Yeah. What's your favorite area to inject? Uh, I reckon med medial cheek and teardrop. Yeah, so, and plus nose. I really nose. like the, I really like the nice. stuff. So. And what is your one tip for everyone out there to look after their skin? Well, I mean, that's a god given, yeah, so sunscreen. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> sunscreen, you heard it here first. From a cosmetic dermatologist, guy has done years and years and years of training in the skin, so he knows what he's after. Whereabouts do you practice if we want to catch up with you? Where um, can we go? Well, I'm in Brisbane, so Cutis, uh, which is in Interpoli, so. Awesome, and your Instagram handle? Uh, Dr. Daphne Lim, or uh, for more technically minded people, 101.skin. <laughs> Thank you so much. No Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Guys, also, okay, awesome. Hello Brisbane, Australia. We can see a reduction in the thickness of the red line on the ultrasound. So this is what they look like up close. The square hand pieces on the diode lasers are also helpful because they have a pretty large footprint. These are six by six centimeters and they cover a wide area. So this is the Venus list. I actually do love this one for a couple of reasons, but my personal favorite is the Very Pulse. So this one here is the radio frequency. It has two rings, it has an inner ring and it has an outer ring. It also has negative pressure. So what happens is it actually sucks the tissue up by sucking the tissue up into this actual hand piece. You actually get the radio frequency being delivered from all angles. So it's almost like a 3D approach rather, from, rather than just externally from the surface of the skin. Um, it will also help to break up some scar tissue. It also helps to squeeze those fat cells as well. And it also acts as a uh, lymphatic drainage. So this is probably one of my favorite treatments to have done. What's important to see in these arrows is the reduction in the bulk of this fold, as well as the reduction in the bulk of the interior abdomen there. Absolutely. And I think it's sort of a misconception that people think if you've got good skin or if you've got healthy skin, that you don't need to do anything. But it's like going to the gym. If you someone, see someone with an amazing body, they weren't just born with an amazing body. They work out they for do. that amazing body. Do. I work out to maintain my skin and make sure that I keep my skin looking good. So I do. Even though I don't have a lot of pigment and I don't have a lot of vascularity, I try as often as I can, like I said, every sort of 12 weeks to have an IPL and a nanofractional. Um, weekly, if I can, I will 100% have the Diamond Polar Weekly. Absolutely.
Like if I have a hot date, this comes out. So that wraps up the wow event over here by Venus Concept in the beautiful Brisbane city. Just look at that backdrop behind me. I have to tell you, one of the most interesting things I've learned today was one of the presentations um, about the top five non-invasive procedures that were done in 2019 over here in Australia. The first of which was your anti-wrinkle treatment, the second of which was your dermal fillers, and the third and the fourth were your non-invasive body sculpting and hair replacement treatments. So I have to say, that's pretty interesting that there is a trend that people are really going into kind of um, more cosmetic procedures. They may not want to go under the knife. They want to kind of dabble a little bit with your um, non-invasive procedures because maybe they're a little bit um, more trustworthy perhaps. But what was another really um, fascinating thing I have to say was one of the presentations by Dr. Davin Lim, who has done some fantastic work with some laser treatments. And one of the pictures that really got me was a picture of a patient who had rhinophyma, which basically is where the nose is, you know, completely distorted, as you saw in the picture. And by using some of the laser treatments that he has in his clinic, the nose was and a few other methods as well, but the nose was restructured almost back to normal again. So it just goes to show there are some truly wonderful treatments out there. And not forgetting, of course, the Venus Bliss, which is the main event for today, which is the new non-surgical um, treatment by Venus, which is the fat reduction and also skin tightening as well, because who doesn't want those treatments, guys? Just ra raise your hands right now. <laughs> yeah, everyone wants those treatments. So I had a really fantastic time. The company was great. The food was delicious. And the venue, what an absolute charm. If you guys want to find out more, head over to my channel, drnora.com, and where I'll be having some more live cosmetic treatments available for you guys to let you guys know whether these things actually work or not. But for now, it's time to enjoy the beautiful backdrop that Brisbane has to offer. Take care and stay healthy. But I'll get you to select a random card. Okay. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there. Okay, now grab the card and have a look. It's important that you remember the card. Okay. I'll get you close in there for me. Alright. Card is now lost in the deck. I'll give it a shuffle so it is completely lost. Alright, I'm going to test you out here. Okay. I'm going to ask you what your card was. Okay. But I want you to lie to me. Okay. Go. Okay. So lie to me. I'll so just say it's, yeah, okay. yeah. So don't tell me what the card was. Okay, tell tell me a different one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Read my mind. I'm good, but I'm not that good. Okay. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs is actually my favourite card. Right. And your face didn't even move when you lied then. So okay. this is not your first time. All right. So let me see if I can try to find what the card was that you chose. Yeah, right. You said that pretty good. I reckon this is the card that you chose. This is it. All right. Is this the card that you chose before? Wow! You know <laughs> what? pretty cool. And I predicted and I knew that you were going to say the seven clubs too. No, no way! way. Yeah. There you go. That was crazy. That All was right. awesome. But here, I'll take it a step so further, cool. right? The seven okay. of clubs is a completely random choice. Can you stick your hand out for me like that? Alright, so seven of clubs, that's your card. You can chose that randomly. I'll put that in your hand. Can you put your other hand on top of it like a sandwich for me? Yep. Now look. Your card was a seven of clubs, I'll use the three of hearts. Now if you watch carefully, I'll rub the card in your hand, then move it real quick, just have a look. <laughs> Check out what you got in your hand though. So. <laughs> no way, that's crazy. Yeah, it, is a, it is a bit crazy, yeah. How? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it uh, just one more step further. I'll get you to pull a card out, but it's important that I don't see it. Okay. But show the camera the card, I'll right. show you from the card, alright? I'll even turn around so it's... Yep, grab it now. Yep. Oh, so show them the card. Okay. Got it? Alright. I'm going to grab your card, I'm going to place it in the deck. Now I might get you to stick your right hand out for me like that. You get your left hand put on top like a sandwich for me. Alright. So you remember what your card was? Alright. Now, just loosen up your grip a little bit so I can access this. Not too much. But I'm going to test you out here. Was that the card you chose? No. That was it. I was just testing her out then, alright? Just making sure she's on the ball, alright? Now I'll give you one more go like that. Was it a heart? Was it that one there? Was that one Come next, on. Eh? This is David Blaine right here. Yeah, <laughs> like Stephen Black. Stephen Black. Stephen Black, Stephen yeah. Black from Brisbane. <laughs> Can I get my uh, deck back, thanks? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. What? You held on to it that tight. That much pressure, you turn into a diamond. That's crazy. Oh, my God. That is insane. 